Good morning, family carpet and draperies. Today, I want to give you a little lesson on some simple calculations that are vital in our industry. Start out with square feet, then go to converting square feet from square inches, mostly used on shutters, and square yards for carpet and sheet vinyl. So where do we use square feet? Square feet is typically any kind of hard surface. So whether it be laminate, hardwood, WPC, SPC, tile, all of those are measured in square footage because they're boxed and uh, that's how all the industry does it. So you're going to take a room and you're going to have a 15 by 17 and you see that little notch out right there. That is a little three by five right there. So what we're gonna do is those are in feet. Each one of this little hashtag thing, not hashtag, whatever apostrophe thing, is labeled as footage. So what we're gonna do is take our calculator, we're gonna say, oh, that room is 15 by 17. So what all you have to do, this is the easiest calculation, is do 15 times 17 and that's your square foot for that area. So then we're gonna take the three times the five over here because we gotta add up all this square footage. And what does that equal? Well, I don't think you need a calculator for that. That equals 15 square feet. We add those up to 55 plus 15. That gives you your exact square footage. Now, what we do, we have to add a certain percentage for overage. What that means is any kind of cuts that we do, so that's, this is industry standard. So 270 square feet, we're gonna times that by 10%. So we're gonna add 10%. That gives us 297 square feet, and we round that, see that little sign right there? That's square footage. We're going to round that up to the nearest box and there you have your square feet. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now we're going to go down to converting a square foot from inches into feet. So where you're going to find this is very helpful in shutters because typically people measure windows per inch instead of per foot. So those that little quotation mark thing above the 58 and the 73 right here and here is the inch sign. So we're here, we're going to take 58 inches times 73 inches, and we're going to get a number, 58 times 73. It's going to be a big number. That's going to be 4,234 four square inches all right so all we have to do here is divide that by 144 because 144 square inches fits in a square foot so we do 4234 divided by 144 and that gives us 29.40 square feet and that's how you calculate right there what a shutter is going to be so when someone comes in with multiple um, dimensions and you say oh I can convert that now 58 inches that 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 oh 73 oh 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 144 that equals 29.40 square feet and then you can times that by whatever the cost factor that we have, depending on the unit. Now we're going to go to square yardage for carpet, which is super vital and a little bit more tricky in that we have to convert this from square feet to square yards. Because carpet comes in 12 foot and sometimes 15 foot goods, but most of the time it comes in 12 foot goods. So this first calculation right here, we're going to take this room 
which is 12 by 15, which is going to be the easiest of anything. 12 by 15, so you're going to take your calculator and you're going to go 12 times 15, and that equals 180. All right? So to convert that into a yardage, we're going to simply divide that by 9 because there's 9 square feet in a square yard. So we're going to go 180, divide that by 9. Simple as that, gives us 20. And what is that, 20 square feet? No, it's not. It's squ 20 square yards. Really simple, you don't have to add anything extra. Now, if a client comes in and, and gives you a 15 by 18, well, we're gonna have to do a seam this way, or maybe this way. You don't necessarily have to worry about that because it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. Uh, we can work on that later. So what we're gonna take, I'm gonna give you a simple calculation. We're gonna take 15 times 18. That's going to give you the square footage. 15 times 18. That gives you 270 square feet. I want you to add 20%. That gives you 324. Three hundred and twenty-four. Is that yards? No, it's not yards. That's still square feet. Now we're going to convert that into yards by dividing by what? Divide that by nine, and that'll give you thirty-six. What? Thirty-six square yards. So if you have multiple rooms that are weird dimensions like that, that is a simple way. This isn't going to be perfectly accurate, but this will help for quotation purposes for that client who just wants something now in the shop. You can add that 20% and it works out quite nicely for your cuts and whatnot. But make sure there's a disclaimer saying, hey, this is I added 20% to this. It really depends on the actual measurements of everything so this these are some simple tools for you guys to use as you're making your sales in in the showroom or out of the showroom floor thanks guys have a great day